happening, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, but first, though, it is time for the sport. And the new manager of Birmingham City, Gianfranco Zola, has set out his plans for the football club. Now, yesterday, Gary Rowett was unexpectedly sacked by the new owners, Trillion Trophy Asia Limited, who took over in October. Well, Birmingham are eighth in the championship. Just to point outside the playoff places, our reporter James Clark is at St Andrews. James, this was all a bit quick, wasn't it, really? It certainly was, Matt. The last couple of days have been a real whirlwind for the Birmingham City fans here at St Andrews. Uh, Gary Rowett, their manager, was sacked yesterday lunchtime completely out of the blue and he was the man who so many of the fans here really adored and he was pushing the club towards a, a potential playoff spot. Um, the pictures we're just about to show you now do contain some flash photography. This is Birmingham City's new manager, Gianfranco Zola. He signed for the club on a two and a half year contract. Now, in terms of his playing career, he was uh, well known at Chelsea. Um, he was really successful there, but as a manager, his CV is pretty mixed. He was sacked by West Ham. He then resigned at Watford, and recently he was over in Qatar where he was sacked. But today, he set out his plans as the new manager of Birmingham City. As I said, I repeat, he has my respect because I believe that he's done a good job. But. Um, uh, I'm a professional too, so I've been called for the job. It, it was an interesting job, and I decided to accept that. And I'll do my best to make sure that uh, it was the right decision. Um, and that's all I can say. This is a club that he has ambitions, obviously. Uh, the owners, the owners, they want uh, this club to see to be challenging to go to the Premier League. Uh, I know that this is the ambition of uh, many other clubs. And, uh, and I know how difficult this championship is. Um, so I, will, I, know, I know where I have to go, and uh, I'll be working hard for that. So hopefully we can, we can, uh, we can get there. So that's the manager, but what about the fans? Well, earlier I spoke to some just up the road here at the club shop, and they told me that they, they thought Zola needed to get them all on board, especially all the fans that come here to St Andrews, because, of course, they, the majority of them really did adore Gary Rowett. Here's what they had to say. It's a big shock, um, but I'm quite happy that we've got him as a manager, although in an ideal world we still have Gary Rowett. I think it's a joke what they did to Rowett, because, you know, he's done well with no money. And I just got rid of him. It's fine, it's disgusting. Oh, he, he took us over, Rowett, when we were 21st. In two seasons, he spent six million and we're seventh. We're three points off third and they've sacked him. Devastated, very shocked. Um, I thought he was doing a great job. Um, football wasn't great, but he hasn't been given the resources which he should have been given. Well, we've not got to the bottom of why Gary Rowett was sacked and so out of the blue, but the club simply say that they want some fresh blood and a new manager. But the fans will be seeking assurance that Zola can come in and take this club um, up to hopefully the Premier League. That was where Gary Rowett wanted to take them and he built them foundations. Uh, Zola has got a big test for his first match. They face Brighton here on Saturday, their second in the championship. That will be a real tough one, and the fans, of course, will be wanting an early Christmas present from that game. OK, James, for now, thank you very much indeed. Well, let's get a bit more sport in here last night.